Why, hello there, kings and queens, bards and barbarians alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy, and in this first episode of the video uh, tutorial series for drawing fantasy characters, we're going to be drawing some skulls. So let's get started. I'm joined in the studio, as usual, by Mr. Muffin Blueberry, my uh, faithful parakeet animal companion. So you'll hear him chirping in the background. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw some skulls, but we're going to keep them, we're, gonna, we're not just going to draw ordinary skulls. You know, we could do that. Skulls usually don't change shapes. Um, they tend to stay, they're, they're bone, so they, they're not malleable. They stay the same shape regardless of what expression you're making. But um, that's not very fun. So for the Fantastic Anatomy method, we're going to mess with the skull. We're going to make it much more expressive. Um, and so I'll just draw one real quick here since I've already kind of done that to give you an idea of a very basic skull you might draw. And it's not exactly a skull, like this isn't the nasal cavity but the nose, but we'll get into that in a second. So basically that's what we're going to go through today, but we're going to talk about different ways we can uh, vary these shapes and ideas in order to get some more fantastical characters. So let's go step by step. Muffin, quiet down. You're on live, well not live, but you're on you're on video. All right, so the first thing we want to do is, um, is is come up with some cool shapes. So we can make them wider and more square. We could make it more uh, rounded. We can make our skulls top heavy. meaning a large cranium and a smaller jaw area, or we can make them bottom heavy, which means a large jaw area and a smaller cranium. I'm sure you can already imagine that this is going to be a more intellectual looking character, and this guy's going to look like a dumb brute, probably an orc. Orcs tend to have big jaws. Now in the future series, I'm going to go into different, all the different uh, parts of the body, all the different features, and how to make them fantastical. Um, but uh, for now, let's just go through this process. So, we're going to draw the skull. Now we got the uh, shape of the skull. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is throw in some eye sockets. And I hope you're drawing along, by the way. If you're not drawing along, I consider it cheating. So let's make this guy a grumpy dwarf. And then this one, what if we make the person have really big round eyes? And these are eye sockets, so it won't necessarily correspond to the eyes. Um, but it will basically, this is at this stage we want to get the general expression. You'll already be able to see these characters taking shape. So this guy's maybe sad, and then let's have this orc be confused as orcs tend to be. All right. The next thing we're going to do is the nose. And it's not going to be the nasal cavity like that would look like something like this on all of them, just a little uh little hole there. But let's make this take this basic shape and make it bigger and we're going to have it represent the shape of the nose in general. So this guy's going to have a wide nose. So I want to go like that. That's going to be the general shape of his nose. What we're doing in uh, the, skull, uh, the skull stage of the Fantastic Anatomy drawing method is uh, we're just uh, we're getting everything in place. We're kind of laying out the geography of the land that is your face. So let's get this like, a little tiny nose. Doo, doo, doo. And then uh, our orc here. I don't know. Why don't we do something a little crazier and see how that comes out. So something like that. Let's try that. All right, I think you can already see how these shaped faces are taking form. Now for the mouth, you can, okay, actually the next thing we're going to do is the cheeks. So step three is the cheekbones. And optionally, we can also do these, uh, this like cranium, what is this, the, the temple area. Because this is kind of fading, this is going backwards in space. Well, this is more flat. So you can uh, indicate that if you desire, but it's it's optional. So let's leave it off of this guy. All right. So we're just kind of going like this. This is going to give us a good idea of where we want our mouths to be. So let's give this guy a wide mouth so to demonstrate how to do that. So if we just keep this 
space really wide, then he's going to have a wide mouth. All right. All right, so what are we on? What step are we on? Four? I think we're on step four. In the next one, we're going to do the mouth. So we can just have the mouth come between these two things. And you can do a smiley face, uh, you know, more serious. And um, another method you can use is, and I'm going to talk more about this when I do the uh, an episode specifically about the mouth. Muffin. Very chirpy today, you should see him, he's crazy. He's acting crazy, he's bobbing his head, his pupils all, whatever the opposite of dilated is. Um, so this kind of teardrop shape with a dent at the bottom gives you the chin and the mouth area. So from there you can put a little line across and uh, that'll fill in the mouth area. And so here, you know what, let's have the mouth go a little bit past. We'll give him a, a, a goofy tooth. That sounds cute. All right, cool. And we're almost done, but I like to throw in the ears at this stage too, just the shape, because it can really give the character a lot of character. So from the top of the eyes to the bottom of the nose, that's where you're going to uh, have the, the ears. I think Muffin's really excited that I'm talking, and he's uh, talking along, adding his commentary and input to this series. So if uh, you're a parakeet out there watching, then you'll um, have a little insight from... Uh, from our friend here. Let's give this guy elven ears. Let's give them elven ears. Come on. There we go. And I, was, and I say guy, I guess this with rounded faces, I guess these are all going to be male characters. I didn't really think about it. I tend to, it's easier for me to draw male characters, so I tend to uh, err towards them. But um, a rounder face would often be a female character, but you'd need the nose to be smaller and the eye. There's, there's some differences that make this guy more masculine, even, a more, you know, more of a male than a female. And I'll do a video on the difference between males and females as well. But, um, but I guess for now, we got a bunch of dudes here. Alright. Cool, cool. And that's pretty much it. So now you've got five... Easily, just in a few minutes, you can do lots of these skulls, and they set up a great foundation to build very interesting characters from. So, um, if you want to see these characters finished up, I'll, I'll finish sketching them on my own time a little, and uh, I'll put them up on the Fantastic Anatomy website, fantasticanatomy.space, and you can find the link to that page in the description uh, below. So, um, yep, that's it. Now you're ready to move on and draw the, the rest of the character if in, the next, uh, uh, in the next episodes or, or tutorials to come. So until then, peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.